Maybe it's aliens. Earth spotted. Let's land. Uh -huh. Wow! Ha ha ha! That's not aliens, kiddo. It's just thunder and lightning. I'll explain to you. Let knowledge click. Inside a cloud, there are tons of tiny water drops and ice bits. When they rub against each other, they create electric charge. It's like when you rub a balloon on your hair and your hair stands up. When there's too much charge, the cloud wants to release it. The cloud blasts it down to the ground. That bright flash is called lightning. What's that loud rumbling sound? That's thunder. And lightning is hot. About 50,000 degree Fahrenheit. That's five times hotter than the sun. <laughs> it hits the air super fast, making it expand. And then... That's thunder. Wow. Lightning and thunder happen at the same time. But we see lightning first, because light is much faster than sound. But if lightning is that strong, is it dangerous to fly on a plane? Nope. Airplanes have special shell. If lightning strikes, the electricity runs outside and leaves. It doesn't go inside, so we are safe. But if you're outside during a storm, remember, don't stand under tall trees. Don't hold metal umbrellas or shiny pointy things. If you're inside, close doors and windows and stay away from them. Lightning can strike through them. Don't use water because lightning can move through pipes. We got it! Mm. That's all for now. Stay tuned for our next exploration. Ow! It's dangerous out there! The tornado is coming with you! Uh, a tornado? Hmm. Let's talk about tornadoes, shall we? Let's knowledge! Click! Tornadoes usually begin with a thunderstorm or a storm. Warm air goes up into the clouds, and cooler air comes down. This makes the air spin around, forming rotating air currents. If the spinning air gets strong enough, its pointy part can touch the ground and turn into a tornado. But I still want my ball back. Mm, tornadoes are way more dangerous than you think. As the tornado moves, it can destroy everything in its parts and cause severe damage. Most tornadoes only last about 10 minutes. During that time, make sure to find a way to keep yourself safe. When a tornado occurs, quickly seek shelter in an underground bunker or a sturdy building to ensure safety. If you cannot get to a shelter, hide under a table and stay away from windows. Got it! But why does it rain? I'll tell you why. Let knowledge clean. 
When it's sunny, the heat makes water from rivers and lakes evaporate. That means it's turned into tiny water drops and go up into the sky. As the drops go higher, they meet cold air. Then they stick together and make clouds. When the clouds get too heavy, they can't hold the water anymore. The drops fall down to the ground. That's called rain. Some of the rain goes into the ground and becomes underground water. That's called the water cycle. But how can we know when it's going to rain? When the water drops in the cloud gather together, they block the sunlight. That's why the clouds look darker. It's like thin glass is clear, but thick glass looks dark. Clouds work the same way. Oh, so mm. the darker the clouds, the more it's going to rain? Exactly. Dark clouds are a warning. Big rain is coming. Run inside or bring a raincoat or umbrella if you need to go out. We got it! <laughs> the wind come from? Oh, I'll explain to you. Let knowledge click. Wind oh. starts with the sun wufu. Really? The sunlight hits the air on earth, but not evenly. When the sun shines, the warmer air rises up into the sky. Then cooler air from the other places rushes in to fill the empty space. And just like that, the wind begins to blow. But the wind just blew away our cake and picnic mat! It didn't help at all! Oh no, Wufu! Wind can help people in many ways! Look! The wind helped sailboat travel across the ocean! The wind can make electricity for the whole village! And the wind lets us play super fun games, too! Wind is helpful, but strong wind can also be dangerous! So tell me, kids, what should you do to stay safe on a very windy day? Run and play when it's windy! Stay under big strong trees! Keep away from things that might blow away! Smoke is coming out of the mountain! Is someone having a barbecue inside? Mm. Oh. It's not a barbecue, dear! That's a volcano! I'll tell you what it is! Let knowledge click! Deep inside our Earth, it is very hot! It's so hot that it melts the rocks inside! The melted rocks are called magma. When the magma comes up and flows out of the volcano, we call it lava. Wow! Is it like when boiling water spills over? That's right. <laughs> How hot could the lava be, Dr. Who? Ah. It's even hotter than your mom's pizza oven. Mm. It can burn everything on its way. We can just use water to put it off! That wouldn't work, kids! There are thousands of underwater volcanoes deep in the ocean that are still active! Oh no! Do the fish get burned? In some places near underwater volcanoes, the water gets so hot it changes color, but some super special creatures can still live there! Volcanoes are amazing, but they can also be very dangerous if we don't know how to stay safe. So remember these important rules, kids! If you hear a volcano warning on the radio or TV, get your emergency bag ready! 
pack clothes, food, water, a flashlight, a first aid kit, and anything important. Quickly leave the danger zone, just like the grown-ups tell you. And wear a mask, so you don't breathe in the volcano dust. Once you're in a safe place, just stay calm and wait until it's safe again. We got it! <laughs> Discover everything around us on Wolfu Explore Channel!